Today, crowds hit the streets of downtown for the 34th annual Pikes Peak Pride Parade. In honor of Pride Month, we've got team coverage tonight of the parade, as well as a new resource center that is aiming to better serve the LGBTQ community. We start with Bill Folsom, who reports from the centerpiece event of Pride Month. Underlying all the fun, excitement, and color at the Pikes Peak Pride Parade, there are personal reasons for attending. I'm here to celebrate my community. I'm here to celebrate my job. I'm here to celebrate Colorado Springs. And I'm here to celebrate um, those who lost their lives in something like Club Q. Just to celebrate love and celebrate our family. Um, and really just to show our kids that there are a lot of other people that are just like us or believe in us. Kids smile about things that happen at any parade. The candy. You guys want some soccer? I like the music and stuff. The outfits are really cool too. This parade is also different, especially when your family is part of the LGBTQ community. I mean, the parade's really fun and like cool to see like every like other family that's like like us. Gay pride parades date back to 1970 when the first ones were held in New York, Chicago, and LA. The start was to mark the anniversary of the Stonewall riots in New York City the previous year. The riots were in response to a police raid of the Stonewall Inn gay bar. In Colorado Springs, gay pride organizers remind that the parade has served as a way to advance and bring acceptance to the LGBTQ community locally. Been enjoying this tradition for over 34 years here in Colorado Springs. The numbers at the event have steadily increased. We have 80 different organizations that are walking or riding in the parade this year, which is more than we've ever had before. It's growing, uh, not just in numbers, but just in how people think and feel. The Pikes Peak Pride Parade welcomes anyone in the community. The goal is shrinking divides and showing that LGBTQ people are part of the fabric of the community. In Colorado Springs, Bill Folsom, News 5.